This call for a ban on assault weapons, and each time the same question does come up. What is an assault weapon? How do you define that? Well, the National Desk, Sangela Brown, went to the gun range to find out if your gun could fall into that category. And there is some debate here, Jan. What gun control activists call an assault weapon, gun owners use for competition. So how many assault weapons are in the U.S. right now? The latest number from the National Shooting Sports Foundation says this number right here, over 16 million and counting. On the range, we learned how one simple modification to a firearm could change that weapon from an assault rifle to a pistol. So let go of this hand okay. and then get the hand crunched up onto oh, there. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yep, that's it. So when you're ready, just go ahead and pull that trigger. There you go. Did I get anything? Call it beginner's luck. Actually, you hit dead center into that partial there, God. which is pretty amazing. But shooting the semi-automatic that operates the same as an AR-15 was far more challenging. Up next, Matt Nash. The gun instructor and competitive shooter demonstrated what an AR-15 style weapon can really do. The president is calling on Congress to ban assault weapons with gun control activists targeting the AR-15 used in mass shootings, including at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas. I'm the only one that's ever gotten fast, man. Everybody keeps wondering whether I'm scared about dealing with rational gun control. The only gun control legislation ever passed is mine. It's going to happen again. But Nash believes banning the AR-15 or similar firearms won't take assault weapons off the shelves. He showed us why by making a simple modification to the semi-automatic that some call an assault rifle. A change he says would keep it off the assault weapons ban list. This is a SIG MPX. This is what I call a pistol carbine. So all the operations identical to an AR-15, except this shoots the same round as that Glock. And if you right? took that off? And if I took this off, so this one has a buffer system that's up top versus in the rear. If I took this off with these two Allen keys, this becomes a pistol. Professor Robert Clark says defining assault weapons was difficult during the last assault weapons ban from 1994 to 2004. So you actually end up with a lot of um, firearms being sold in the civilian market during the 1990s and early 2000s that look a great deal like the assault weapons that were banned, but are not banned under the policy. Right now, seven states and D.C. have an assault weapons ban, and the laws vary by state. Hawaii, for example, bans assault pistols with at least two features, while California identifies the make and model of an assault weapon. Gun rights supporters are nervous an assault weapons ban could lead to restrictions on purchasing semi-automatic weapons they use for recreation. This is my hunting rifle, and this is called an AR-10. As you can see, it looks almost identical to an AR-15, right? You know, some say the best way to gauge legislation that could be introduced is to look back at the last federal ban on assault weapons from 1994 through 2004. Over a dozen firearms were outlawed then, like the Uzi and the Colt AR-15, but not all semi-automatic weapons were banned at that time. However, lawmakers also banned those large-capacity magazines with more than 10 bullets to reduce the firepower for some semi-automatic guns that they were that were still in the And this, you said this is the second time you've actually fired uh, a weapon there? <laughs> that was the second time, but you know, I did pretty good. I was surprised I because wearing heels and a dress, too. Yeah, and hitting the target Goodness. dead on. I was completely oh shocked. Gosh. All right, Angela, thank you for the. Uh